what up guys welcome back to Daniel Israel TV today we have a handstand tutorial coming at you so stay tuned it's gonna be dope <laughs> By the way guys, I'm going to do a quick challenge. I'm going to try and do 10 handstand dips in a row. Here it is. Count below. First try. So guys, there's a couple quick, simple tips in order to get a handstand down right. The first, it's pretty simple. It's exactly the way you stand. See, when you fall forward, you're gonna press on your toes, and that's what brings you back. And if you fall backwards, you kinda ease off on your heels, and it helps you to maintain that balance. So it's the same thing when you go down into a handstand. You're gonna notice if I fall forward, I'm gonna press on my fingertips, and if I fall back, I'm gonna kinda just move my palms around a little bit. So another quick tip for when you're doing your handstands is instead of looking straight down at your fingertips, you should look six inches to a foot in front and that would really help out your balance. Also, when you go up into your handstand, you want one leg to go up first and then you follow it through with the second leg. So you don't wanna just jump up, you wanna kick up. And then you should always go back down the same way that you went up. That way you get the uh, form down. Just to show you what that looks like. So notice my fingertips are pulsating. That's because they're keeping me from falling forward. And if I were to fall back, I kind of ease off on my palms. And that helps me to maintain that balance. So there's two ways to learn how to do a handstand from my knowledge. One is you have someone spot you and they bat your legs back and forth until you find that nice balance point. But then there's also where you can go up against the wall like this and you put your back up against the wall. And when you put your back up against the wall, if you fall forward until you get the strength for your fingertips, you can kind of use your feet to bounce back. That way you don't fall that way. And then the only bad thing that can happen is you fall back on your feet. So this is what that looks like. Which is a good way to learn when you don't have a spotter but in my opinion having a spotter is good because they can hold your balance but they can also tell you how to correct your form and get it in a better position which i learned from a good friend now that's blue and his thing is down here he uh, taught me how to do handstands six years ago and what he did was he would just hold me in that balance and bat my legs back and forth tell me what to do push through my shoulders and point my toes and everything, give me all the tips to be able to hold a handstand properly. So having a spotter is also a really good way to learn how to do a handstand. So yeah, just pretty much make sure that your fingertips are acting like your toes would if you fall forward, same way if you fell backwards, and you'll be on your way to getting a handstand down. That's it for this week's video guys. I hope the tutorial was good for you guys. Comment below, let me know if it was helpful. If you guys need any more tips, I'm in the comments section. I'd love to help you guys out any way I can. Thanks so much, I'll see you guys in the next clip.